Hey, 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 hey! Good afternoon, Welcome. good evening, good night, or good morning, depending on where in the world you think you are right now. Because coming we at have you, no idea. <laughs> coming at you with audio and video. Hopefully, you know. which we didn't have about 15 minutes ago for some reason. But that's what happens when you come clashing in from uh, running straight in from a webinar with which is Qualitex. Qualitex. With uh, the wonderful Luke Bitron, the seasonal bonanza, um, straight into a cute corner. Um, and for those of you that were there at the webinar, um, and I we can see you guys in the chat there. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, well, for we joining us. Some and if you weren't there, why not? Amazing ideas for some. Uh... The comments back were uh, incredible, oh, yeah. right? But I'm thinking that uh, window display we were talking about. Yeah. So thanks, Luke, for that. Thank There's you very cool much, Luke. Stuff. So if you missed it, why but good news is is that we've just found out that all of the webinars the previous ones will be available um to purchase and watch again shortly uh, so that should be good if you did miss out yes for um, one million dollars one million dollars uh so I how's your uh week, two weeks been how's it been look at that so we've got um uh, martyrs there um in spanish saying that <laughs> translating us to trans crazies yeah translating us yes the incredible luke patron thank you yes yeah, first so of all guys cheers i really do need this tea we almost didn't get this there was a list of priorities <laughs> okay yeah. and we it bumped went this we bumped this up the list and it went, it went camera tea now i had it the other way but he said no we definitely need the camera we definitely, definitely need the camera. the camera we definitely it's audio, audio only it's great We've yeah. got faces for radio. Don't you like it when um, systems do updates at the strangest times? It's, uh, it's, it's absolutely it's fantastic. It's Bill watching. Bill it's Gates. <laughs> it keeps you keeps you on your toes. Uh, Luke um, is in the chat on Facebook there. Happy you have, still have energy. Thanks again, boys. Thank you. It was a pleasure to work with you, as always. Great team. We had Javier. We had... Uh... Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the full um pioneer team we're working on the back of that so brilliant yes. okay um what have we got tonight brian <laughs> <laughs> it really does feel like that this week guys we normally more could pause but it's been great so anyway we decided to, you know we need to accessorize yes you know? so um well but before we do that before we go onto the handbags and purses <laughs> depending on which side of the pond you're from um there was a competition launch this week yes um so and it's only up until i think it's the 19th of this month um, which is for the Qualitex calendar 2021 so that we can put days. 2020 behind us. See ya 2020, <laughs> wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah, and get ready for 2021. And if you want your photos to be uh, included in the Qualitex calendar, uh, you need to get your entries into Pioneer as quick as possible. Get yourself over to, uh, what's that website? Well, I find you can't go wrong with the... Uh... Politex.com. That's right. Get yourself over there and put in your entries, and you can do that. We were having a conversation about the convention just yes, the other day. The Q Corner convention. And we're thinking, well, two things. One is I keep having delirious flashbacks of things that didn't exist, but I think they did in my head. That sleep deprivation. <laughs> it for was you. sleep deprivation. Yes. I remembered quite vividly watching one mm. of the seminars. Which one? The Reese's Mom one. Ah, yes. Jackie's. And, uh, I remember watching it, but I remember watching it while she's teaching to delegates. Yes. And I fairly sure that she didn't have delegates in her house. She didn't have delegates in her house, but you guys were there, right? Virtually. The thing was, is that it was so strange with the whole um, convention the because drugs. we did feel like we were all together in it and we were literally oh, sitting you know there we need. watching the class. 
Yeah, what, just, just as a reminder of the convention. Oh, right? yes, absolutely. I think the flashbacks are coming because of the little side project we've yes. been working on. So there is a little side project that we've been working on. They're going to be coming out shortly. What we're going to do is we're going to start releasing um, three videos each week, um, which are re-edited versions of each class from the Q Corner convention. Yeah. So some of them had some technical difficulties and we're editing them out as possible. And we're There's a couple um, with some little updates, uh, yeah. which were put in too late to be aired on the convention, but we got them after the fact, so we can have them inputted. Yes, uh, and then and also the bit where Billy broke the internet. <laughs> we're gonna wipe that bit out, Billy. <laughs> we're gonna wipe out Billy breaking the internet. Well, um, and, and if you don't know what we're things... talking about, hashtag Billy broke the internet. <laughs> you need to go back and watch the convention. I recommend from part one. Yeah, to so part fifteen. Yeah, and each one of them seven and a half up to eight hours long. Yes, so good one of the that. added advantages, though, of the re-release of the convention is each individual instructor will be done separately and there'll be chapters in there as well. So you can kind of skip forward to certain techniques yes. and different designs. If you're looking for something, you know, you're thinking, oh, I saw that. I want to make it. I want to kind of refer to that. It just makes it more of a kind of a catalogue so, of information. So with all the little bits edited out and things like that, you've only got about 100 hours of watch. <laughs> to to catch up with which is going to make those winter nights just fly by it is you know what and if you get that under your belt you know we might even have another one we may we may we, well we did say right at the end of the last one yeah. that we would have one and, i don't remind um, because i watched it again and i thought oh we said that we, we did said say that, that. it will happen okay it will happen um yeah. not quite sure when but yeah. it will happen so bye-bye 2020 you guys wouldn't want that anyway that was craziness nonsense yeah. you wouldn't want i don't think of... so another event <laughs> of that magnitude again oh, so man. anyway let's uh, crack on with this um otherwise we won't be able to get home tonight to our families so what we're going to do is we're going to do why handbags they, why and they do thumbs up in the chat <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, oh what have i got in here where's is the thing oh look we've got where, where just that? checking that my button works it does wow i'll take that as well that's a golden nugget for the q corner it's, convention it's, see our audience doesn't really get to participate in where our um, conversations come from yes we often have a, like a conversation about something, and that normally spurs a, a thought and a topic, and oh, we could share that in Q Corner and the like. And we were actually looking at some Halloween designs, doing mm -hmm. some dressing for the windows, and the one that you had thought of, which was the bat. We yes. this bat, um, and we thought, you know, this is a really good design. We've done it, I don't even know for how long. Yeah. Um, and it was kind of. The technique that was used is a nice little, oh, we could use that somewhere else. Yes. So that's where tonight came from. So, yeah, exactly. It's actually a little um, twisted bat that we did um, using um, purple, violet, and black. Yes. Arts. What was that? Was that thunder outside? There's a noise in the studio. <laughs> Something just happened on the studio roof. Um, <laughs> we may need to investigate. If we go off air, we will be back. <laughs> we will. Um, so, yes, um, it was based on some hearts and... Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, shall we do that one second? Shall we do the, yeah. the one that we used to do? So, for those that don't know um, our background, uh, Dom and myself, we started off in this industry as entertainers, uh, magician, balloon twisters, um, and a lot of line work and events, sometimes adult only events. Um, and we had this thing of challenges to do anything. So um, we, uh, our background was a lot to do with twisting before we came onto the decorating side and then onto the, the retail side. Uh, and we tried to keep our hand in with the whole thing. Um, so we always used to get asked for a, a handbag. Yeah. Um, it's because obviously a lot, a lot of the adult or ones purse, want like. something that kind of to accessorize, yes. uh, something to match and coordinate with their outfit. Especially when we used to do, we, we did a, a soccer club, a football club, UK soccer club, American. <laughs> um, we used to do their Christmas events for a few years and it was no kids, it was all adults. So we used to do a lot of accessories. Yes. Corporate dinners, uh, Christmas dinners. Little little handbags. Fun, fun events, but yes, those are uh, corsage uh, uh, flowers. Yeah, corsage, and, yeah. Bracelets were very popular, but the, the little handbag that we did uh, purse was... So a, this one started off as a chainsaw. Yes. And then became a handbag. So <laughs> Yeah, and I think and we may have talked about this before, but the chainsaw technique, we named our techniques after the first item we ever made with that technique. That's Because that's what we did. Yes, so <laughs> although you guys might call a flat wave, we call a chainsaw weave. And that's because... Um, we didn't go out and learn the technique and then go on like that. We kind of learned it on, on the job yeah. for that one. So. I'd like a chainsaw. Next person wanted a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? So are you going to show them how to do this? Uh, we've bigged it up now. Would you like to, to show them how to do it? Oh. I think you should use this. 
What, this amazing... amazing yes, we machine. have the amazing premium smart twist. You'll see it's not connected to any... You know, oh, you want to zoom out to that do. one? Yeah, we'll yeah, go to just here. Cu just cue uh, it. Yeah, You're already on it, so cue it. Yeah, hold on, hold on the table. Hold on the table. We're, oh, we're going round. So, um, this is battery powered. Yeah, it's also it's a little carry case, so it can go over your shoulder to use as a um, uh, a purse. Yeah, as as a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you're on site as a twister, you could use it this way. And we're going to switch it off on the switch it off. On, on, sorry, switch it on on there. <laughs> it comes on. Yeah, two options. Charge. 50, 50 chance of getting that one right. Right, on I'll or off. Hand we it need, over to you. We need it on. I'm going to top up this vodka. I wish, I wish. So, we're going to use two 260Q chrome mauve balloons. We People are asking there, hope you're fitting well. We're definitely one of those two, Mr. <laughs> yeah. Balloon Professor. We're one of them. You can decide whether we fit or well. Yeah, wait till the end and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go through that. The button is uh, handily located. Somebody's asked there on Facebook as well. I hope to hear of a Christmas convention. Um, I don't think so. Um, I Christmas think, uh, is a busy time. I, someone I can't asked in the uh, YouTube chat as well, but I chose to ignore it. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to happen. All right. Not going to happen no. for a Christmas convention. No. So we need two, two of these. Now, if I was inflating them with a hand pump the 260 and um, the lime green qualitex pump oh, you, i would use about five five strokes on that um with the electric inflator it takes a little bit of practice to do um it's kind of a, a feel and the timing of it because uh, mm -hmm. i wouldn't normally worry about trying to measure it so if you're kind of using the hand pump about five strokes is enough you can put a little bit more in um because you can just let it out at the end that's fine you don't want to put too much in this because you'll find that you'll run out of space to twist so, um, so a bit of practice. Do you think we should do a close-up cam as well? Oh, we've got a close-up cam. We, it's a new thing for us. Just before the show, we had no camera. <laughs> now we've got to try for two. Now he's going for two. Yeah. So uh, this is our new close-up cam. I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to make sure that we've got an angle that's actually suitable. Oh, one second, one second. Wait, hi, Julie. It's a, no, Julie's in the chat. Hi, Julie. Hi, Ju hi Julie. Is the music still on, Julie? <laughs> Can you hear that music? I, 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 the music stops where everyone sit down. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put this here. Okay. Uh, going no, I need you to lean the other way, Dom, so that I can see if... Which is uh, the other way? No, to me. This way. To you. To me. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't ask for much. <laughs> right. Right, okay. And then I'm going to put this on. He's asking for a lot. I've got, look, Dom, I'm going to beautify it's it. It's a beauty light. It's a beauty fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, have we got some music? Because that will be good. Have I got music here? Dom, we didn't have a camera two minutes ago. Come on, just crack on. <laughs> okay. So do you want the camera? Is it on? No. You actually, you've, you've lined it up. Yeah. Have you? Are you doing the thing so I can do yeah, this? Yeah, I've sent it to you. Look at oh, that. Oh, look. Magic. Look. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, There's a halo. One sec. Oh, oh, it's there. It's there. We'll put that there. <laughs> Keith I might Smith. have spilled some tea there earlier. So... <laughs> Right, yeah, so anyway, we're beautifying you, Dom. I'm going to move mine before I spill mine, though, okay? Don't forget to make me drink it. So we've got two 260Q. Good afternoon. We've got Mr. Colin Stewart all the way from Canada over on Facebook as well. Get yourself over onto um, YouTube, guys. Um, it's yeah, the, water the, is lovely. Yeah, water is lovely. Sad at the not end, on. we're going to make a small bubble so we can have a pinch twist. I'm going to keep it there so we can see it on the little camera. They're not used to work to this camera. I know, but your head's in the way of your hands. Head. <laughs> like, oh, I can see it. it's all it's all going on in Q corner today. Yeah, it looks a lot better on that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that better? There we go. So zoom on. in, zoom in. Do go big, go, just do big screen. I think. Oh, ultra big. Here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? There we go. There we go. Right now you'll be able to see your hands better. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So and that means that I can switch that one off. We're doing a pinch twist. That's better. Onto the end of each of those. Balloons. Yay! Now, we're going to swap them round. So we've got one going one way and one going the other way. Now, this is going to be the width of our purse or handbag. The bigger you make it, the more balloon you're going to need. Yeah. So don't make it too big, otherwise you'll run out of balloon. If you do want to make it bigger, that's fine. You just will have to add some extra balloons as you go on as well. So we're going to keep it just with the two balloons. We're going to put them across. This gets... You're trying to get your cup of tea. I'm just putting it in the shop there as well. Look so we've got, a, we've got a... A Q corner logo going on, and I just want to say as well as that, hello to Red. Uh, hi Rachel, congratulations again from us. 
Uh, lots of love, and uh, yeah, it's nice to see you back in the gym. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks for Fred. all this time. You think you were busy? I know. Terrible. <laughs> you know what? We need to get cucumber and mugs. Don't drink my tea. <laughs> I've killed for less. So we're going to twist these together. God, we're easily distracted. So we're going to twist these together uh, where they meet up with the pinch twist. So I'm just going to grab the two of those balloons and twist them round. <laughs> Did I hit with the face? I try. And then do the same on the other side. So twisty, twisty. And that gives us the base of our design. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring these across and that's going to build the structure up over. But before we bring that balloon across, we're going to start off with a small bubble and that brings that balloon up. So when it comes across, it's not coming across at a funny angle. So that's going to be one side. Then at the other side here, small bubble again. And then join the two of those together. Now you can make this perfectly straight, so it's um, the same size all the way up. Or you can tape them in, tape them out, and you can change the style as you see fit. And you can make whatever size chainsaw you want. <laughs> that's right. Chainsaws in any size and any colour. Twisted those two together so I can bring the longer one of the two back around to the other side. I have to say, Dom, this beauty ring is working. Your hands look very beautified <laughs> in this light. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough day. So now to join these two balloons together, okay, I'm going to put a twist in. And then the quickest and easiest way to join those two together is to do a barrel roll. We're going to roll this one, which is the loose one, underneath fixed one so it's going to roll under switch places and that gives us a nice clean connection rather than trying to tie it or feed this one through which ends up making a bit of a mess of everything yep because it is uh all about the chrome about the chrome oh my goodness. <laughs> that gif is going to plague me right third and final here small bubble bring it across the top lock it in for the size and then create a bubble on the other one as well Join the two of those together. Bring it back across again. Again, just mark off for the measurement. Put your twist in and do the same thing again. Just roll that underneath. And that gives us our little structure there for the base of our purse. Now we're going to use one of these to bring it over, create the top of the handbag. But to join in at this side here, instead of trying to tie a knot and it's kind of be it's going to be messy in yeah. the seam. We're just going to create another bubble here, which we can then convert into a pinch twist. So just pull that bubble up and twist it round, and that gives us something to wrap the other balloon into, rather than trying to tie a knot. So that gives us our uh, nice clean connection there as well. I'm just going to leave this connected until we brought this one over. I'm just going to Sounds stretch. Sounds like a clever idea, that done. It does. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit because you get some lumps in it from the twists that we've done. Uh, on the way up here so just to smooth that out before i bring that over but just to balance the design i'm going to create a bubble here and a pinch twist or if you're alberto falcone a pinch a twist <laughs> sounds so much better bring this balloon over to get the uh the top handle piece twist it to lock the air in and then bring that underneath that pinch twist and then just wrap it around you just twist the two of those together. Somebody in the Facebook chat, chat there says that this pink bag will suit you, Dom. I think it will. I think it will match his eyes. I agree. Then once we're done, we can just snip the ends open on here, let the air out, and tie them off around that pinch twist. So, just... I wasn't sure we had scissors there or not. So. We do. We've got them right next to you. The handles yes. are even pointing towards you. <laughs> well, that's just not, not good enough. He's just showing off that he can snap a balloon. No, I couldn't see them. So that's the basis of our bag, and then we can accessorize it all we want. So for this one, we're going to use a 260Q chrome silver. And the premium smart twist. We'll just drop because that. Because we've there. lost the hand pump anyway. The hand pump's gone down the back. We'll add some air in there. Soften it off because we're going to make a small flower to add onto the bag. So I've just tied that off. It's a nice soft balloon. So start at the knot end fold it over to create a small loop squeeze that wrap it around and then tuck the excess through that loop so this is the same flower that we've done many times here on q corner everywhere we go and teach we teach this flower the same technique but you can scale it up and scale it down so that's why we're using this one here so bring that round try and create a second loop 
I'm going to try and match them in size. It's more apparent on the smaller you go with this design yeah. um, if these are not the same size. I don't overly worry about it, but you don't want them terribly miles apart. So again, I'm just going to try and size them up. So as I bring it round, and what Dom's doing is he's doing it automatically. At this point here, you can see he's squishing it. And what that does is it pushes the air a bit further down and it softens that bubble, makes it easier to work with while he's at that point. So that's a kind of gets yes. it. Also visually, you can see that you're, you're in or you know, yeah. the right size or where you're at. So if I need to make it bigger, I can roll it out or bring it in. But once I'm about right, it's holding it, as Keith said, kind of in position there. And then once I'm happy, I can then roll that round the back. And that's going to give me my five petals that sit lovely together for this little flower. So, and if you're British as well, you, you can choose to use self-raisin or plain flour. This is true, this yeah. is true. So oh, you're going to use a scissors this time. <laughs> this is this how time. novel. Yeah, I know. So let the air out, and then wrap it around the middle just to seal that in. And then, uh, have I got a scrap? I do have a scrap, Keith. Excellent. You know, normally I throw it away and... Uh, oh, one second, I'll tell you what we'll do. Here we go. Premium Smart Twist. <laughs> the secret of Vader. <laughs> I inflated the, um, the the scrap piece of this 260Q morph right the way to the end of the balloon there. I'm going to hold on to the end and put a bit of a twist in it to trap the air at the very end and let the rest of the air out. Now, you can do this with a, a kind of a middle part of the balloon, just tie the end, but then you get the middle bit and you make a very soft uh, pinch twist that you can then pull into the centre as well. And then you position well. it and just give it a squeeze, not round it off. But... Yeah, this gives you a much cleaner and nicer look, um, but... If you don't have ends of the balloons and it is the other way of doing it so i'm going to wrap that round to lock it in position i'm going to remove the silver excess somebody said on there as well as that squeezing it should also reduce the pressure making it less chance of popping absolutely, absolutely right yeah by getting rid of the, the silver i've got the mauve left which is the best one to tie into the handbag because you're not going to notice the color um, as you go through around that pinch twist so i've just wrapped it in locked it in position and then just trim off the excess with my super sharp, amazingly accurate scissors <laughs> and position that on the front of the bag. So ready for a night out but on the also, town. Lovely handbag, but also the beginnings of a chainsaw <laughs> yeah. where we um, put the blade on here. That's, and where that's why we got the, the, with the chainsaw. So there we go. Um, we've also done versions of this where we've put a little spout on here and it's become a watering can and th there's lots of variations um, that that basis of this little purse or handbag um comes in on there so uh, it it's how, really nice it was how to get uh, let's go back to it, it's really nice i like that it was how to get to in fact, a, i'm gonna give you uh one oh, of them thanks. there we go a, a simple handbag with uh not too many twists and tying because when you're doing an out and about twisting you don't want to have to spend forever you know multiple balloons multiple balloons so this is you know two balloons for the base structure and a little bit of accessorizing work so that's that, you even that's got some golden nuggets there from um the ladies of fashion balloons over in canada very good thank you very much okay i guess it's my turn it is yeah. yeah okay so this is my turn i'm going to make a purse and i'm going to use some six inch hearts for this Ooh, right let's so, zoom back in again you're getting uh, oh, oh here we go then ready 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 yeah here goes there okay you go. so i've got some six inch hearts i'm going to move them over there i've got um, a couple of rows and a wild berry on there i'm also going to use a gold um chrome 260q but i'll come back to that one in a bit uh because i need that hand pump that you threw on the floor throw. callously threw on the one floor second, one second what time is it, it oh it's about um yeah, yeah. balloon dog apparel clock i think okay right so what we're going to do for this one is we're going to start with the um rows and i'm going to do two strokes on the hand pump so it's going to go one two this is really there. important for the hearts for sizing it with something like the hand pump you can actually use a machine as well because it's yeah. a setting for a timer but the, the hardest ones to size by eye but using a sizing technique is really good so one two again so just two strokes on both of them and then tie them together as a pair our balloons and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with the wild berry but instead of two strokes we're just going to do one stroke so one stroke so it's a really nice shaped heart you put there. i know it's beautiful isn't it in fact it's hard to see that it is a heart but trust me it is um and we're going to need it so i'm going to tie that in there as a three because you could say well why wouldn't i use a five inch there you're only going to inflate it yes back. well the thing is is that it's the lobes it's the two lobes of the heart that i particularly need because we're going to do um 
we're going to use them as attachment points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the small one first and I'm just going to squeeze one of them lobes out. And what I want to do is grab it and just grab a small bubble. Can you see that? There's just a small bubble grabbed on there. I need to grab that to one side and I'm going to take... Again, you're doing that instinctively. Yeah. This is the, the tricky bit on the technique is how to keep a hold of that whilst twisting that. But just pop it between your fingers there, especially your little gives finger. Me all the rest of my hands exactly. to use. So what I can do now is on my rows, I can give that a squeeze and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just taking a small bubble. You might not get it straight away. That's okay. Just grab it a couple of times. You're balancing that pressure, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to get a small bubble so they're round about the same size. And then I take the two and I twist them together to lock them together like this. Okay. You're still with me, guys? Then from there, on the other side where that other lobe is, I give that a squeeze up. And I do a little twist to give that a little bubble. And then I grab that. And then I take my six inch half on the rose and I grab another small bubble off the side there. Oh, didn't quite get it, so I'll go again. There we go. And then I make sure that it's kind of in line, pull them up and lock them together too. The thing is as well, with them being pretty uninflated like they are with just two pumps on yep. those, they're really tough. So it's easy to work with. Yes. So this is the basis of what's going to be our purse. But you can see if I turn it this way up, this is where it started as our bat because these are our wings. This is the body. And we added a spider, the uh, five inch spider eye nice, print, yeah. um, turned it slightly sideways. And then that became our bat. But the middle one was bigger than that one, though. It was yeah. like two pumps two in pumps. all of them. because it kind of really fanned so these, those yeah, It was three strokes on the two side ones and two strokes for the middle and one. And we did it with a purple violet and onyx black. Yeah, onyx black for the wings and purple violet for the body. Look really cute. Right, okay, so, um, but for this, we're going to turn it into a purse. So I'm going to take a 260Q um, gold, and then what I need to do is I need to stretch it out into a 160 shape. Okay, Ooh. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up for this, and then I'm pulling up really tall, and you press that. Super, thank you. And then it means that um, it stretches it out to get it thinner. And I want it thinner still. So what I want to do is let some air out and tie it off. And then I'm going to give, ask Dom, if you can just pull on that side and I'll pull on this side. And then we stretch and stretch and stretch. There we go. And it gets a nice thin version of the balloon. Uh, so from here, what I'm going to do... Just a minor point again, using the electric air inflator again yeah. is much better for this. You get a smooth. really smooth finish to it. Yeah. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off at one of the, the bubbles, one of the connector points here, and I'm going to twist that in to those two bubbles. I'm going to come down to the bottom where all of the knots are down here. I'm going to chop off all of the knots apart from the wild berry. I want to get rid of them two rows. I don't need it. I'm just going to keep that wild berry. So what that's going to happen is I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to create a pinch twist. So it's a small bubble. That we twist. And we pull this up to the middle. I'm going to wrap that around and tuck it back under the 260. Or oh, this is almost like a 160 now, right? And then this is going to come up to back up to the top. So you can see it, it connects back into itself all the way around. And then I put a little twist. I go all the way around those two connectors. Hit Dom in the face on the way past because I can. Eye. Right in the eye. And then I come out between the two connectors. And what I'm going to do, I've got you. Yeah. I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to create the handle for my bag. It goes all the way around here. I put a twist in there. I'm going to go around these two. Sorry, I'm not going to get you anymore. It's, yeah, because you can't reach. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pull it back down to the bottom, twist it, lock it around that pinch twist at the bottom, all the way back up the other side, and twist and lock that in all the way across there. It's so helpful that pinch twist at the bottom to hide all the... 
the connection points to hide yep. the uh, twists. Shot off the end of there. We say, if in doubt, put a pinch twist in. Yeah, take that in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck that inside of there because there's plenty of space to hide it. I'm just going to straighten all this out so that my catches come out one either side like this, and then I have my lovely little handbag. And I can give this a bit of shape as well by squashing the other lobe on the other side further out and the other lobe on the other side so it just gives it more space and more shape for the handbag if you want to you can do this part with an uninflated 260 so it's more of a strap across there it's down to you guys you put your stamp on it whatever you want to do so that's a cute little purse played around with but i don't know the little uh, button you put on the front was nice oh yeah oh, i um i no, don't have, have it oh uh, uh, we can do it we've mentioned it now you have yeah. to do it okay <laughs> so taking normally just a scrap of a 260 on this one so we say they come to hide the colors or the nibbly bits yeah we've got to hide them nibbly bits yes is that what i said <laughs> possibly <laughs> i never know what i was going to say <laughs> right okay so <laughs> I just oh, see. I haven't even told them what I'm doing here. Right? <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of what the translation of nibbly bits is going to be. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Okay. Right. So we push push up the air yeah, here. Yeah. Stop it. This is serious, guys. This is see. This might be fun for you. What, 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 this is what, what, serious. Geez, it's getting cold. Oh yeah, it is. I'm almost out anyway. It must be out of time then. Oh, tea's cold. You're Ten minutes finished. over, Dom. Ten minutes over. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. We push that inside there in uh, an apple. Happy New Year! <laughs> he built it up. <laughs> so I chopped that bit off. I what didn't need doing? it anywhere. Not what? Not paid attention. I, I know. I, uh, it's because I've done it three times on the thing. I, I wasn't explaining what I was actually doing. It drink, is important. Drink your serious tea, Leah. I would never do that. And how dare you accuse me of being serious? Thank you very much. You. You know us far better than that, thank you. Right, we shall tie that off there. And then we'll push that inside. We'll grab it, the, um, the, 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 pop it the knot. Time. No, I decided again. And then what I'm going to do is give that a little bit of a twist. Little twist. Now, normally what I would do is I would take a bit of a, a scrap of a 160Q here and go around just a couple of times and tie that off really tight. And the reason for that is um, where this is going, it's not going to have anything else really in there. Um, it's not going to have any more inflated balloon on there. So I, uh, I don't want to make it fail. So thank you. You thought I was going to snap it there, did you? Anyway. I wasn't. I just thought I needed this on. <laughs> okay. So we just tie that off on the back of there. And then, thank you. And then with a glue dot, um, like a balloon sticky dot or something, what we can do is we can just attach that onto the front of there so that it just finishes off Beautiful. the the front of that purse. I don't have any uh, balloon sticky dots handy, so I can't show you. But it's just a little added finish. It's different on the end. Little. There we go. Felicia, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> right, go back to full screen, Dom. Yeah. I'm going to get this out of the way. Say bye-bye to our new um, fun light. So we've got rid of that. I don't think it beautified us enough, but hey ho, hey ho. <sighs> and yes, um, <laughs> very cute clutch. Thank you very much. See, Thank you. There's the other, there's the other yeah, word for it. I knew, I knew bag, we did something handbag. Handbag, we would call it. Or yeah. A purse. Um, but we've ran out of time once more. No way. I know. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say bye bye for now. Um, hopefully, which would next week. The video should start uh, hitting you for all of Q Corner Convention. Yes. Um, so you'll be able to watch all of those back We're again. enjoying them again. And yeah. And getting bits we, we, I don't know, missed. I, I don't know. know. I, well, there was so much of it, I think. It was impossible to see everything. I yeah. Mean, and we were so tired. I mean, there is a really good list that was put together uh, by Petter. Yes. Um, which was fantastic. And I think some other people have done some lists since as well, which is awesome. It's still there, by the way. If you go onto the Qualitex Facebook page uh, sorry group yeah um and you go into the files there is still um a list which has all the links that you can click clickable links go straight to each yeah. instructor if you want to do it that way um obviously these new ones won't have all the live chat so if you do want to catch up on 
what happened during the live chat yep. is still best. We're not taking them down, they're still we're, staying yeah. up. This is purely there. just so you can get to each of the instructors and their cool content and navigate through it a little bit easier because there is so much. Absolutely. And yes. uh, so for that, we're going to say thank you very much, guys. Yes. Uh, you guys have an, another awesome week. Um, and oh, don't know if you caught at the end of the at the end of the webinar, um, uh, we did a little announcement um, at the end of Luke's. We put it up there just very briefly for the people that were only there right yeah, at the end. But you guys can know too. Ooh, um, yeah. The next Qualitex webinar, which is happening next month. What's the date? November the 4th. Ah, it, is, it is, it is, it is. It is. Uh, November the 4th, it is. Yeah. And it's 7 p.m. UK time. Yeah. So an hour later than what we would normally be. Um, but it's the Neves yeah, no, no, from that's, Miami. That's how we say And it. I think this one is going to be huge, okay? so they, I mean, if you remember the convention with those girls in, they were, I think they drunk better tea than us. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> we're looking forward to working with those guys. We'll be um, hiding in the background. Yes. Um, so watch out for the marketing coming out on that one from Pioneer. You get yourself sign signed up, up as, as always. soon as you possibly yeah. can. Okay. But if you if you lost and you can't find it and don't know where to look for it, check out Qualitex.com events. It you can't be, go wrong with Qualitex. You, can't, you cannot you go wrong, wrong with, with it. Yeah. Go there, check in the, under the events section, and the link will be there for um, going in that. Yes, and if you ever get stuck, you can always drop us a line or Mr. Q. So, yes. um, but for now... Uh, I tell you what you can do as well. <laughs> We're gonna do. I know, I know, now, I know, I know. But now, three days later, <laughs> what we'd like you guys to do is make your own version of the purse, the handbag, the clutch purse, yes. whatever, and post it on Mister Q's Facebook page with a hashtag. Q uh, Corner Convention. That's what we want. Is a Q Corner yes. Convention on there? Um, yes, and please. We want to see your versions of them using whichever balloons you would like to yeah. use. Like if you're watching today, balloons. don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as well, because then you will be oh. notified. Of everything that's coming out, yeah. <laughs> I, was, ah, I got you. I need to change that. Okay. Anyway, yes, yeah, so you'll be notified of those videos as they come out. So uh, watch out for that. Make sure you do it. But that bell's really important. For it you. is. So you guys stay awesome, and we shall see you very, very soon. Yes. Bye for now. Bye. -bye. <laughs>